Home Plate is brought to you by OptiView Vision Centers, with two locations to serve you in Austintown and Niles. Home Plate Home Style is brought to you in part by Ruli Brothers Markets. Hello, this is Helga. And I'm Mitch. And today we're back in our kitchen making coleslaw. All right. I know it's a like German a cabbage. Recipe. Yes, it's, it is. It really is. And this is so nice because I've seen that at Ruli Brothers, they, they have angel hair cabbage. How do you like that? Well, it's a lot easier Isn't than that ha the, me having to do yeah, it. Yeah, and I know. So what we start is now I'm going to do the dressing, and then you can start on the, if you don't mind. The I onion? get you to work. Yeah, onion the first, onion and then the and apples. And then a couple of apples, yeah. All oh, right. Yeah, coleslaw with apples. Oh, my God, it's wonderful. And we're going to start with a couple of tablespoons of sour cream. My kind of heaping, okay, because you, you, you have a lot of slaw there. And a little bit of mayo, the same amount. One, two. Equal okay. parts. Equal parts. And we're using a little bit of cider vine uh, oh, yeah. vinegar. You, you know? know how healthy that is like, for you? Like uh, about a couple of tablespoons. So is I'm this just about gonna... nice? You like that size here? Because I know I get in trouble yeah, with that's, the size. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. Okay, we're just going to go and get just mix this all together. And let me go a little bit of salt, kosher salt, and a little pepper. And let's see, what else do I need? Okay, a little bit of sugar. You need a, the whole onion here? Sugar? I thought I had my sugar out, didn't I? I don't see it. Do you have it here? Yeah, got it. Now this whole onion you want that way, right? Yeah, we need a whole onion because it's a lot of, you know. See, I'm just gonna use like a couple of tablespoons of sugar because that, that vinegar, that cuts it a little bit, you know, that is a little bit, I don't want to say sour, but it has a potent taste. Yeah, you just cut the acidity. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the apples, when the apples go in here, they stay nice and white because of the vinegar, you know? That piece will get me in trouble, Helga, right Yes, there. you got it. <laughs> <laughs> and you know me. <laughs> I would gonna say that's his fault. Oh, it's not you. Yeah. It's even the producers are giving me a hard time about this now. <laughs> One big onion. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> okay, now you can go put the app the onions in. All right, let me get these apples off and slide them right in there. Okay. All right. Now I'll get started. And you know on that's these. the Vidalia. Now this is going together. It's okay yeah. if the apples touch the same board. I guess it's okay. They all go in the same place here. And what I do is. We're gonna go, oops, take this, this slaw. And we gotta go get a, now I have a little trick here, which I like You're to show. You're gonna give up one of your tricks yeah, in front show, of the audience? Yeah, show the ladies, you know, if you wanna save some of this, this slaw, you know, like, and you take your bag, even if you have vegetables, make a little thing there, and you don't have to go run around for a twisty tie, and all you do is go take this, what you cut off, Oh, and look, and no isn't waste. that and look nice? At that. You don't and have to, you don't have to go else. look for a twisty or run around like mad trying to find a rubber band. There you go, we mix this all together. We should be more resourceful in our lives. And I know, buy we everything. have too many yeah, gadgets you know? and too many things for everything. Now I'm just going to work that a little bit. Well, remember the last time all I had was a paring blade. This is a lot easier. Isn't that nice? Now we got to get the apples going, and of course, the walnuts need a little bit of rough chop also. Okay. See how this is coming together already, how nice? There you go. All right, and now you can 
you know, just take like a handful. We need just like a, like a half a cup. Kind of rough chop them. And that's, that's fine. And you can, if you don't have any walnuts, you know, pecans or, I don't know, if peanuts. I don't know if I like peanuts in it, but um, cashews. Look at that. Doesn't that come nice together? That is. With it's the a nice apples. Color. Mm -hmm. Just the little bit of yeah. difference. Okay, now we can throw that now, in. Is that, did you put pepper in there? Or is yeah. that celery seed? No, that's pepper. You know what? I, you probably can, if you like pepper, you know, uh, celery seeds, if you like that, you can do that. That's in my, uh, I mean, my this aunt's is, recipe. Yeah, this is just my. Is this about what you like? That's it. Very good. Okay. Beautiful. That's nice. Isn't I like that nice? Isn't that nice? And you know what? You can take this to picnics. You know, they always put it in a Tupperware container with a lid. Is it better afterwards after yeah, the flavor? Yeah, it has smell? to. Yeah, you have to put it in the refrigerator for about an hour, an hour and a half. And Would you make it the day before for a picnic yes. for yourself? Yes. Yeah, I do. Okay. I do because it gets better and better. And does the cabbage bleed some more moisture? Yeah. And don't take any uh, the coleslaw mix, which has red cabbage in it. Yeah. That pleats all over. Oh, then you have red. those sure. red lumps in there, sure. you know. And so and I noticed that that this one is much nicer. Okay, now Mitch, we're gonna get ready to put this in the refrigerator. We're gonna cover this up. Okay. And, um, and this has keep to sit. it in the refrigerator about an hour, an hour and a half. You know, it has to ferment a little bit. Okay. And um, and I think we have one. I made one this morning really early, so we have one to taste. How do you like that? Uh, I like that. I know, so. <laughs> you know I there like that. There you go. And now we're going to have to have a taste. Okay, have a taste. All right. Look at that. That's Throw enough, a little yes. nice little serving <laughs> <Yeah>. bowl. <laughs> Isn't that a cute this one? Is, here you go. Just like a real restaurant. Mm -hmm. okay. Here we go. Mmm, toast. <laughs> oh, I lost my. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't that good? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the flavors have come together. This is really good the with the apple. The apple's a little softer, too. Mm-hmm. But nice. still crunchy. It's all got different textures. That's what and I love in Don't you like salad. that angel hip uh, cabbage? Like I said, it's I like so it because I don't have to slice it myself. Yeah, it's really... <laughs> I know my mom, we had a garden at home, and we had mm. to go slice it all the time ourselves. But This is excellent. It's very refreshing. Very nice. So that's all for today. This is Helga. And I'm Mitch. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye-bye now. We've had a really great summer. The weather's been fantastic, uh -huh. and it's a great time to have a garage sale. Yeah. In fact, I think you had one. <laughs> yeah, I had a garage sale recently, and I have some tips on how to make your garage sale successful. The first thing you want to do is plan ahead, and we both know this. Give yourself about a month to uh, go through all the belongings in your house, and basically a good rule of thumb is if you haven't used it in a year, then get rid of it. Um, you know, clothes, items in your kitchen, um, just try and go through everything and give yourself about a month to get things together. Now, once you have everything together, um, a good thing to do is to go through and price things. Um, these are really easy already. Uh, the prices are already printed on these tags and you just go through and put them on the items. Um, another thing is pricing things. If you really truly want to get rid of stuff, which we do, which we do, um, price it cheaply price it to sell people don't come to garage sales and want to spend a lot of money they're looking for a great deal so make sure that you um, price your items accordingly and along the same lines you want to be willing to bargain if you want to get rid of things right you know if someone comes up to you and says I'll give you uh, ten dollars for these two items and it's only a couple dollars off of what you originally wanted I'd say go for it because you're better off getting a couple bucks on something than uh, not selling it at all Another good item, good tip is to make sure everything's neat and organized. Because as we know, if you go into a store and things are, are crowded and disorganized, it doesn't really make you want to shop. And recently we had a garage sale and... What you do is you also want to group your items like items. So if you've got dishes, you want to put all the dishes together. If you've got glasses, you want to put all the glasses together. And if you have clothes, you want to put the clothes together. And Christy has a tip for the clothes. Right, um, what we did was, um, was, was very successful was to get uh, two, um, two ladders and put a bar in the middle and make sure the clothes are hanging. This way people can see the clothes, they can look through them. I have always had trouble selling clothes. 
This time I sold a lot of clothes um, and they were priced to sell and people really enjoyed looking at them and getting some great bargains at the same time. Another thing you wanna do is get yard signs and make sure people know, her, know uh, that you're having a garage sale. Put one at the end of your yard, put them at the end of your street. You know, you wanna get the word out about your garage sale. Another great way to get the word out is to put an ad in the classified section of the paper. How much does it cost, Kevin? It costs about 20 bucks, and you'll be amazed at how many people will come to your garage sale and say, oh, I saw your sale advertised in the newspaper. So it appears to us that many people will plan their day out by looking at the newspaper. They will go around the community going garage sale to garage sale. So it's a, it's a little bit of an investment, but it's well worth it. Another good piece of advice is to always have a money box when you have a garage sale. You wanna make sure that you have um, you know, a variety of dollar bills. You probably want to have about $40 bills and change combination, so it's easy for you to make change in the beginning of the garage sale. And you also want to desig designate someone at the garage sale to watch over the money box um, so, uh, so you always know where it is. Right, because you have a lot of people coming in and out and you always want to make sure where the money box is. Another good uh, idea is to get a permit for your garage sale. A lot of communities and neighborhoods, you're only allowed to have so many garage sales per year. Most of the cost is about $5 and I'd say it's worth it to have your permit than to have trouble in the long run. So always check with your community uh, and make sure that you don't need a permit or you do need a permit. You don't want a visit from your friendly police officer during <laughs> your sale. <laughs> right. And the last thing is after your garage sale is over and it's a major success like we hope it will be, uh, go through the items that you have and if you don't need any more, my advice is to give it away to charity because you don't want it sitting in your house saving it for another garage sale that you don't know even if you're going to have. So just I would give everything that you haven't sold to charity. Yeah and there are some charities that will come to your house and actually pick up uh, the items so that you don't actually have to take them to the charity. So you might want to check that out also. All right, so those are, those are our advice for a garage sale. And uh, join us next time when we'll have more great tips. Good luck on your garage sale. <laughs> For an authentic diner experience, look no further than the Steel Trolley Diner in downtown Lisbon, Ohio. Award-winning hamburgers with all of your favorite toppings, fresh cut fries and onion rings, delicious milkshakes, and some of the best homemade pies you'll find anywhere. Stop by the Marketplace and pick up Steel Trolley's original topping sauces, t-shirts, and classic candies. For hometown service and great food, visit the Steel Trolley Diner in Lisbon, Ohio today. Follow us on Facebook or at SteelTrolleyDiner.com. Visit Jimmy's Italian Specialties on Belmont Avenue in Liberty and you will find the area's most complete selection of Italian foods and spices. The best old world homemade bread baked daily. A complete deli with fresh meats, cheeses and daily lunch specials. Delicious homemade cakes, cookies and desserts. A huge selection of imported olives, wines and so much more. Have a gift basket or cookie tray made up for your special occasion. Stop by Jimmy's today. Now and for the future, YSU Metro College, serving everyone's personal and professional needs. I'm Herb. And I'm Wolfgang. And we're the Fixer Uppers. Herb. What, are, what are we going to do today? That's my line. <laughs> we're going to show what's in your toilet. This is the old style which in old homes, 50 years and older, if you haven't replaced them, that's what you're gonna find. And if they go bad, it's very really hard to fix. Well, they're difficult to find parts for these because there's leather, leather washers down in here, and I haven't seen those in years. I mean, you probably have to go to one of the old plumbing places because you're not gonna find it in a big box store. Yep, so what we have in the new toilets. In the new toilets, there's a couple of things that you may find in your toilet. This uh, is about from the oh, 1970s up to present. It's similar to the old ball cock that we had there in the, uh, in the toilets. And it was the float, 
and when the float went up, it put pressure on a rod that closed the diaphragm that kept the water from coming up and going into the toilet. Now, these you can still get parts for. You pull out the four screws and there's a diaphragm in here that can be replaced. But uh, the one that I happen to like uh, that's more modern is the one that they happen to make by Fluid Master. And there's some copies of this, but this is a pretty good one. And uh, it's got the float, which takes the place of the old type float, and it can be adjusted. This is completely adjustable for height, uh, depending on what the height of your tank is and how much water you want to let into it. It's also adjustable on the float rod right here. Now, what happens with these, uh, the newer ones, your toilet may still run uh, after you've put one of these in after maybe three or four years, there's a diaphragm in the top of this thing. And you weren't really familiar with this, but you said all you do is replace them. Well, yeah, that's the easiest way, isn't it? Well, but that means you have to empty the tank, take off everything, and pull this out. Now, yep. you can shut the water off at the bottom with your new ball valve on the yep. bottom of the toilet through the supply line. And then, this has what we call a bayonet mount. You push down and you turn, and you pop it open. Now, on the inside of that, there's a little grate in there, and that may have sediment and sand in there, possibly, but also, in the cap of this is a little rubber diaphragm, and the diaphragm can be taken out, and it can be replaced. It's about a buck and a half to 250, depending on which store gouges you, and it comes in a small package, and you can keep a few of these around the house if you have a number of toilets, and they don't go bad, so you keep them in the medicine cabinet or in the drawer in the, in the vanity, and uh, you replace those instead of replacing the whole valve. Uh, so how do you get the sediment out of the, the water pipe? To get the sediment out, after you've shut the, uh, the water off and you're ready to put that back in, and you want to get the sediment bubbled out of here, you put your hand or a cup over the top of this, and you gently reach down and open your valve on the bottom and let the water spurt out a little bit and let all the sediment bubble out of there then you shut it off at the bottom, and then you just replace the diaphragm and the cap in one simple motion. That's easy enough. And you're ready to roll. I might even be able to do that at home. <laughs> For a home plate, we'll talk to you next week. If you're tired of seeing this every time you try to use the toaster with the microwave, it's time to call Tedco Electric. With over 25 years of commercial and residential experience, call Tedco for all of your electrical needs. Call 330-720-8587. Hi, I'm Ted Kosis, owner of Tedco Electric. Call today for any of your residential or commercial electrical needs. Licensed, insured, and affordable, call Tedco Electric today. House is downtown Warren's favorite place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Enjoy one of our classic breakfast offerings or a delicious sandwich or salad. Work or relax with our free Wi-Fi. And don't forget to try all of our homemade desserts, scones, muffins, and our famous New York-style cheesecakes. We also offer catering and can host your special event for up to 100 guests. We're open seven days a week with dinner entrees and daily specials. Visit the Mocha House today. Feed your family with fresh and healthy foods from Ruli Brothers. Our deli features the best selection of top quality meats, cheeses, and salads that go perfectly with fresh breads from the Ruli's in-store bakery. And prepared foods like hot wings, pizza, sausage and peppers, pasta and meatballs are available every day from the Ruli Brothers kitchen. Great foods prepared fresh daily at great prices. Ruli Brothers, Boardman, Austin Town. Home Plate Home Style is brought to you in part by Ruli Brothers Markets. Hi, I'm Helga. And I'm Mitch. Welcome to Home Plate. And here we are again cooking, and I see something with turkey. Yes, you can do this with chicken mm. also, but I, I got this 
turkey tenderloin. But that's beautiful, nice and, and lean. You can, you can pound these if you'd like with, okay. you know, if, if mm -hmm. you want them thinner yeah. or just try to slice them nice and thin. So then we're gonna touch them? Mm. Yes, this flour? flour has salt and black pepper. Okay. We've already done that. I'll slice them and get them there, in there and you can get them into the sauté Oh, it's just like, call it like little medallions or? Yeah, yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I do this get five in too. there, you think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three. Yeah, we can do one more. Okay. Okay. We're gonna put them to the side oh, and then we're gonna make our sauce in the same oh. pan. All the flavor will oh, be in okay, there. Oh, okay, okay. Beautiful. There nice you job. go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you've done this before. No, well, I do some of the stuff at home. I have to go cook for Wolfgang, you know. Because <laughs> <laughs> you put them in the sauce, is that what you're saying? Or do they have to be well done already? No, we don't want them fully cooked. Okay. Because we're going to put them, yeah, right That's, back into that yeah. sauce to finish them. And then oh. even the juice that they, they start to bleed. Okay. All right. Got so some let's more. go put some more in here. All right. Okay, oh, now. now gonna we, go. to, we finished with our turkey. Mm -hmm. We're going to finish chopping up. These are uh, shallots, very, very much more delicate than an onion. Are they milder, aren't they? Yeah, not as sharp yeah. in flavor. Mm -hmm. yes. I grow these in my backyard because, as you said, they're very they're expensive. They're very expensive when you buy them, yes. But you have to start them early. Yeah. And, okay, you know, you have to put in a lot of sets, actually. Yeah. And um, now we're going to saute them in the oil. We're going to get that nice and hot over there. I think it is. Now this is morel season. That's why we decided this would be a fun dish. I've never seen so many morels as I see here in Ohio. Wow. I haven't had a chance to uh, hunt for them recently. You know what? I, I don't think I ever had a morel. I oh, didn't they're even, beautiful. You know, yeah, I, I like chanterelles like you, but yeah. we'll get into a dish like that someday. Okay, look what we found in here. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't <laughs> mind those. Once they get soft and Helga and her big onions. Big onions, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to soft these, soften okay. them, get them translucent. Okay. Uh, we're going to add a little more olive oil into there. Let me reach around you. Okay. And when we add our mushrooms to this, mm, now the morels so have to be cleaned very well. You split them in half. so good. Mm. Bring that temperature even around. Um, and I like to double wash them. And I'll use a salad okay. spinner, not oh. too rigorous, but you need to wash them two, three times because they're hollow inside. I've split them down the middle. They can grow as large as this. Wow. Um, my friend Lee Hohuttle brought these for me. Him and his daughter, it was so cute. They showed up in the house with a, a basket of morels. And nice. this is probably $80, $90, if You're not $100 worth they're of morels. They're expensive like that? Yeah, wow. so they, you know, but the bugs can get up through there. You have oh. to wash it real well, get all the grit out, and then put it in the salad spinner, and they're nice and dry. And then we can put a whole couple put handfuls of this in there. Now we're going to use this for the sauce. Sorry. I just watching. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to use this for both the sauce, and okay. we're going to use Helga's famous spetzel. Okay. With the morels, mm -hmm. with the cream sauce. And oh. we have our stock with chicken going in the back. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the base of the sauce. So how long do you have to cook those mushrooms? Not then? long. See how Not thin long? they are? Yeah, In fact, are. that, I'm going to pick that out. Look at I didn't wash that one well. Oh. Enough. Okay. So be real careful. You know, you don't want any grit in there. No. Mm -mm. Beautiful. Okay. Now, in here we have some chicken stock. I've uh, made a, a blonde roux. This is just butter, whole butter. Flour. And flour. Now we're going to add a little bit of this and you start mixing that in the middle as I add okay. the chicken stock. Okay. So that's going to start thickening that up. Mm -hmm. The butter allows it, the flour to melt into the sauce. That's such a good idea. So you, you, I like that. It's mm -hmm. easier. You won't get yes. as many lumps if, uh, yeah, if yeah. there's a tendency. And then you just have to gauge how thick you want it. We're going to put a little more. Okay. Because we're also going to add some whole cream. Mm-hmm. Oh, now it's getting fattening. <laughs> Starting to get decadent. Yes. Mm -hmm. But with such an expensive mushroom, you've you got to treat yourself. Yeah. And I would not suggest anybody goes out just hunting for mushrooms unless you know exactly, exactly what Exactly what, yes. Mm -hmm. um, these I know very well. Chanterelles I know. And um, I wouldn't trust myself with oh, any other gorgeous. mushrooms. That smells delicious. And that's coming nice. We're going to add. It comes nice. Look at that. that. Yes. It's thickness. nice and thick. Mm-hmm. That's I think the flavor. so. Well, if, do you have any salt and pepper in there? Hmm. Mm, not yet. Not yet. Nice chicken flavor, though. I've been cooking the chicken so stock, stock down. Yeah. There's our pepper. Okay. This is a more, little more salt. 
Now we've dredged and seasoned the turkey. That's our Now we're going to lower the heat on that a little bit if we okay. can. Okay. Going in with our cream. Let's move that around. We don't want to break the cream once we get that in there. That's why we lower our heat. That's nice. Wow. And now we're going to let that finish off. That looks wonderful. I can't yeah. wait to taste this with the spetzels too, huh? That oh, really that's going to be perfect. Nice. I yeah. thought of this dish just for that. <laughs> Do you? And we're going to let this finish <laughs> okay. right on the top. And this will take another two or three minutes. This Watch is it nice. Don't burn yourself. It's thinned up already. Yeah. And we'll get that on there. Okay, Mitch, this, this looks wonderful. Okay, and I bet you it tastes together. really good also. Let's get a little plate and let's yes. see how this looks. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Now. Make it a little fancy. Hmm. Oh, We're nice. not going to put too large a portion. This is a very rich dish. Yes. This is really nice with the turkey. I never know what to do with the turkey, unless I have the whole turkey, you know. So this is really nice to do and that. And the this spetzels. is so good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, this recipe is going to be a favorite. I hope so. OK. All right. Really good. A little bit more, because I love these. Yeah, oh, don't be one. so stingy. <laughs> <laughs> these Brussels sprouts, That's, I, uh, I roast garden? in the oven mm -hmm. for like 450 degrees. Just flash them in hot okay. olive oil, mm -hmm. a little salt and pepper. Very good. And they're very healthy for you. Do you know I that? I love these mm -hmm. too. I grow these in my backyard. Mm -hmm. One made it all the way through the winter. Very good. <laughs> okay, oh, now we that. need to add a little bit of sauce, sauce. to okay. this. Mm -hmm. Get a little more of those mushrooms. A little less of a mess. This sauce will be so good mm -hmm. on the spetzel. Okay, mm. now we put this over here. And we're going to get to taste it, huh? Look at the mess uh, I make, though. Huh? That's look, okay. we got to make it look as good as a restaurant for you, Helga. Mm, yeah. All right. Can you serve this in a restaurant? I'm pretty I sure would. you do. I would. It's wonderful. Now, can we, is this going to be tender enough to get our... Yes, it is. It is. Mm -hmm. And I didn't pound this, but you can pound it. Yeah. The turkey. Mm. Very tender. <laughs> mm, and the sauce. Yeah, me too. The fine one here. Mm. 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 These make a great mushroom soup. I, well. I, I love mushrooms. Mm. Very good. Mm. And of course, my spätzle. I guess we have a mm. show going on. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we this, have to stop. <laughs> this is our newest edition. I hope you've enjoyed it. And this is Helga. And I'm Mitch with a full mouth. Very good. <laughs> Bye -bye. I'll be the same.